Here's a quick comparison between the Snowed adjustable 80 pound dumbbell and the Nuo Bell uh, 80 pound dumbbell. Um, biggest differences are the definitely two things. One, the construction of the Snowed is primarily cast iron, like, like all of it, uh, from, except maybe like just the, the, uh, the adjustment ring. The Nuo Bell is a mixture of cast iron and some plastic. So if I go down, cast iron, but definitely some plastic. And if you want to actually come in, we can kind of take a closer look. So cast iron, some plastic over here. You can hear it. Um, it does seem like it's, it's well built. Uh, it's not a knock on Nuo Bell, but even the handle over here, this is plastic. Uh, whereas if we do the same thing, we go down to 10 pounds right over here. This is, this is all, this is all like cast iron. Um, I mean, every, every piece of it, there is maybe a piece over here that might be plastic. Actually, I don't know. It sounds like metal. Um, the, the adjustment ring is, is, is plastic, but the, in, the inner rod, as you can see, it's actually also metal. All right. The other biggest thing, obviously, the adjustment style. This is a twist of a handle, which actually it feels nice. This is the adjustment ring, which also feels nice. Very quick, pretty smooth. Uh, other than that, they both go to 80. Um, they, both, they both feel great. I would assume the, the Snowed would probably, now this is just a guess, probably last longer because literally every part of it is metal. The Nuo Bell, uh, this over here is mostly plastic. This is aluminum, I think, this black part, um, but everything else is plastic. And the other thing is with the Nuo Bell, this little piece, this pin that actually goes into the dumbbell to, to allow you to turn the handle and adjust it is made out of plastic. And if this breaks, um, you're gonna need to buy a new one. The good thing is I think you can buy one uh, pretty, uh, pretty cheap. I don't think they're more than like, uh, I don't know, 30, maybe 40 bucks. I'm not sure, but they're, pr they're pretty cost effective if that does happen. Um, putting them back in, the new about seems like it takes a little bit more, but yeah, but I mean, they, they both work really well. Another just quick comparison. We do have a traditional 80 pound dumbbell here, just so you guys can see the size difference. So the snowed on the on your right, what you guys are seeing on my left is it's definitely a little bit longer. So it's gotta be like three, maybe four inches longer. So you can see it, it kind of stops like, like right at that number three plate. So yeah, I would say about, about three and a half, four, whatever. Um, definitely a little bit longer, but the, the, the Rogue is a little bit taller. But the cool thing is now watch, here's the interesting thing. If you actually, so my, my palms are pretty wide. I've got pretty big hands. And the snowed, the handle on the snowed is actually really, uh, it's really comfortable. Like it's a little bit, it's a little bit thicker. Um, feels good. Not that, honestly, not that that makes a huge difference, but it's, it's definitely, yeah, the knurling is a little bit more, more rigid on the, on the rogue. But anyway, point being is the handle on this feels really good. It's definitely, it's definitely well made. Um, just a little bit of, a little bit of knocking so you guys can, can get that. I don't want to fully drop it, um, but I, I can definitely see the durability in it. Obviously, you know, this isn't going anywhere. Like there's nothing in here. It's all static. It's in one, one, one dumbbell, but for something that has, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight plates on one side, another eight on the other, and then, you know, rings on the other side, like, which, which is, you know, it's not gonna turn because that would be bad if it's not in the cradle. Um, it's definitely robust. And once again, just taking it, putting it back in. So I just knocked it on the ground a bit and look, sure enough, rotates back down to 30. One more thing, one more thing. The handle on the Nuo Bell. Here's the size of my palms. I've got pretty wide palms. The handle on the Nuo Bell is a little bit narrow. You can see by me grabbing it, I'm touching both sides, just about, actually, yeah, I'm touching both sides of the handle. When I go over to the snowed, 
same grip. I'm not touching either side. All right, and then you go over the traditional dumbbell, same deal, you've got a little bit of space. So the one thing with the new belt is definitely the, uh, the size of the grip might, might make a, you know, a difference to you. Um, to me, it does a little bit, uh, but otherwise, I uh, don't think you can go wrong with either one. Uh, one more thing, I think, I, I hope we didn't uh, forget this, but the new belt does change, uh, uh, going in five pound increments. So that could be a deal breaker for you on the snowed. If you do need that more you know, granular adjustment from 10 to 15 to 20 to 25, and you're gonna work at the lower end of the, um, of the dumbbell range, and you do want those, uh, those, those finer adjustments, the new is gonna be the one for you. If not, and you're okay going um, with a little bit more incremental jumps in 10 pounds, the snowed is for you. Uh, regardless, I don't think you can go wrong um, Price-wise, I think they're about, about the same. I want to say the snow is, if you go for the pair, is a, is a little bit more, like a couple hundred, a couple hundred dollars more. The one con that I'm that I'm actually considering right now is, it does go up in 10 pound increments, which could be a con. It also somebody can see that as a benefit, because um, some other dumbbells go in five pound increments. But honestly. For, for just like overall, for, for athletes and for athletic movements, like the movements we did today, you know, we benched, we did some shoulder press, we did some RDLs. Um, if we're doing more like, like clean and presses, which like if I just took like a, like, you know, like a 30, and I just do like a quick clean and press, like even that, like it feels good, it feels sturdy, but my point being is you might not need five pound increments. You might, it might be more, uh, more valuable for you to have something that's, that's more durable, um, that is cast iron, that you know, you know, if you knock it around a little bit, you're gonna have that, that durability in there. So overall, I think, um, I think they, they did a great job. I think it's a great product. Um, I, would, I would definitely recommend them. Um, that is an honest, uh, that's an honest opinion. Um, just based on the durability alone and the form factor, uh, it's, a, it's a solid product, it really is. Hope you guys find this valuable. Um, if you did, please like, um, comment, any questions you have, but most importantly, subscribe so we can keep things like this going.